Starting it off with a little yogurt, some mixed berries, grab a banana, grab some French toast, have some chicken, some bacon, and we'll go get some eggs. One of the things I think um, on a day of camp is um, the stress, the amount of stress your body goes through. You know, with practice meetings and even lift um, every other day, you know, it's super important that you get your sleep, um, you hydrate, and you eat well. You gotta fuel your body, so after a lift, um, filling myself with the, the post-recovery shake, um, that, that's, you know, a few thousand calories. I probably eat or, like, consume probably about, like, eight or 10,000 calories. So a little rice with some chicken, especially after a tough practice like that. It's super important to get your carbs, especially. Go lasagna real quick. When I came in, I was about um, 6'7", uh, 240, 235. And right now, I'm still about 6'7", and like 315. I had to really watch what I ate when I was putting on the weight um, last year at this time. Coach Schnee sat, sat me down and, and kind of gave me like a, a layout of what I should eat. And then also, um, you know, the nutrient timing, like try to eat this at this time of day. Thank you. I watched what I ate. I worked hard in the, in the weight room um, and on the practice field, and, and the results kind of showed me. Good talk. Good it's kind of crazy, you know, just, just to think about the transition I've made from from high school to now and kind of the transformation of my body, but um, you know, consistently trying to get better every day um, in terms of the offensive line. You know, I can tell you that a year ago I wasn't nearly as close to you know, confidence and strength as I am today. So, you know, it's good to see those strides and those gains, but you know, still a lot, a lot of room to grow.